it's Angel here and I have a post review for you guys and I have Bumblebee Draglin from JBG, uh, sorry, the artist JBG uh, which stands for Jasmine Griffith Beckin, my mind went blank then but I got it um, so yeah, this was fun to work with and I got it from uh, diamondpaintingfanatics.com So this is my log book for them. So this is the one that I worked on. So I picked a round and the size 40 by 50. Uh, this has 45 colours and 3 ABs. Um, so yeah, uh, you can choose the size and you can choose, um, square or rounds with or without ABs. So yeah, I like the 40 by 50 as a snack size, um, canvases to work on while I'm doing massive uh, canvases, which I'm doing Dragon's Mask from Diamond Art Club and it is huge and I'm doing it I'm doing a lot of squares at the moment from DAC so um going on to Cindy's uh website and buying um these kits breaks it down a bit and I don't get bored of the squares so I usually pick rounds but I have brought a few more canvases off her that are square obviously you've seen the unboxings so if I'm doing a lot of rounds in the future uh, from DAC or whatever um, I will pick a square for um, the stack size so that's how I'm working around that so yeah really fun to do uh, I need to put the finish date which is Sunday the yeah Sunday the 6th of August so I'm gonna write that down Oop. Finished 6th of August 23. Now I did add um, two extra drills with the three drills and the ones that I added on was these two here. A yellow and a purple so I just added an extra uh, ABs to the bumblebees here and where else there and I've already got a purple AB AB um, which is AB 208 I've used a 119 so I've replaced that one mostly with the 327 so and the yellow one i replaced was 3822 and i replaced that with the 129 ab so yeah uh so yeah it is very confetti heavy very confetti heavy usually on the top bit i had some color blocking but not major so literally I've been working with a three placer and a single placed so yeah you've got a lot of confetti but uh, it's worth it so it looks really good for 40 by 50 obviously you go bigger you get more detail in but it is one of those paintings where you need to look right back for example boom there you go so you can see the bees you can make out what it is but obviously if you go so close um it 
it yeah i don't want to like it, it you might think oh not much detail but there is you've got to look back you've got to look right back so um i'm happy anyway so as i say these are um my little snack size paintings i will always do a 40 by 50 unless i pick if there's a painting out there that i absolutely love and i will get a bigger size but uh I'm enjoying doing these round snack sizes um, but uh, I do have squares that I would like to try a square which I haven't worked a square yet um, obviously I've done this is the third round and the third kit from Cindy that I've worked on um, I'm feeling uh, really slow lately because obviously with July I had a week holiday and uh, you know how it is guys, family and holidays, you're just not diamond painting as much so um, yeah I, I wish I got this finished because I put this in, I didn't um, google formed it or anything but I used the hashtag uh, JBG along that was hosted by Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights um, just to support and just show um, this artist out there. I do love JBG's um, artwork and stuff. So, And I'm so fond of my bumblebees. So it was perfect. I really did enjoy it. I did get a little bit... Um, fatigued with the confetti but you know have a break this is why i do two whips a square and a round um something different to each other so this one was like a summery color thing and then the dragon's mask is like a gothic dark theme so i've got two different themes and two different drills so if you ever feel like you're getting fatigue on a confetti heavy painting or anything like that do another whip on the other on the other go and you know it does break it up break it up i would have got this finished sooner but obviously it's the summer holidays and I don't know about you guys, but I love being in the sun and I love being out and about and enjoying the weather and stuff like that. And yeah, but I know autumn, winter and spring, I will be back more on a regular scale of my uh, diamond painting. But there's, it's not a race. You do, you do your paintings how you want to do them, like. There's no rush or it's it's not a competition unless you're entering into an event that needs a finish product. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of like people feeling pressured out there in the diamond community to diamond paint really fast and it shouldn't be like that. This should be an enjoyable hobby and mostly helping your mental health well-being um it's not going to help if you're going to feel like oh this is i need to finish this off in a week i'm blah 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 sometimes we like to challenge ourselves and that is a good thing but uh, if you're one of those that don't want to challenge and just want to relax and do it at your own pace do it don't don't worry about it i started dragon's mask end of may and i'm only hitting halfway so there you go um so yeah i really enjoyed this kit and no problems with the canvas the drills um or anything like that i've had oh, blah, blah, blah. i've still got loads of drills left over i usually go through how much i go through but uh there's your first a b and then uh that's your the the the, the black so yeah they're all 
I've got a few in there. So I'm just going through. There's another AB there. So you get three ABs in this kit. As you can tell, I'm just going to pop them up so you can see how much I've got left. So if you work with these containers, then you, you know. So I had quite a few left over. I'm going to put these in baggies and keep them as spares. But as you can see, I had a lots left over. Uh, is that another AB? Yes, that's another AB. That's the third AB. There you go. Yeah. As I say, the, the quality of the drills are really, really good. Um, no problems. Not much trash. So not not static either. So kitting up, it was great. Uh, working on them, great. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm just going through it. Yep, 45 colours on that, yep. As you can see, loads left over. And, yeah, thank you, Cindy, for producing a good quality canvas and drills. And, uh, yeah, I've ordered more. Um, so, uh, the next kit that I want to work on from Cindy that I've got is a Fox one. Um, but I am waiting for my first crystal kit from Cindy and it's a gaming one. I think it's Gamer Girl or something like that. Um, because I'm a bit of a gamer myself and it's all crystals. It's all crystals and I'm looking forward to doing my first crystal, uh, canvas sort of thing. So... Yeah, I want to kit that up and work on it literally straight away. And then I want to try and do a fox one. So I love my foxes. I love my bees. Uh, I love my black cats. So, yeah, perfect. Right, guys, thank you for watching and listening to me rant on. So, as I say, really enjoyed it. No problems. And um, I do recommend getting this kit for the summer save our bees um order it for jbg along maybe next year so yeah all right guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you want to see more diamond painting content leave some comments below what you think of this painting and um i will see you in the next video stay safe stay amazing and happy diamond painting. Bye.